Hi guys, happy Sunday. It is Beth Curtis here and today I'd like to talk to you guys in regards to my Gino 2.0. So I did the Gino 2.0 through Helix and in front of me I have the Your Ancestral Journey. It says Your Genius Matches. So I will share with you guys my Genius Matches. Definitely not cat. Zeppi. Zeppi. Not now, Zeppi. Go, Zeppi. Okay, you want to sit? Okay, cool. Okay, so I guess we'll keep the cat there. Okay, so my my genius matches. So here we have it says that I have ten matches. Ten genius matches as per Gino 2.0, which is National Geographic, and let's see. So it says 10 matches explore your results. Zeppi, go. Not now, Zeppi. <clears throat> okay, so the science behind your matches. Okay, thank you, Zeppi. Stop. Okay, so it's showing that my first one says Petrarch or Petrarch 1304. So 1304 to 1374. It says Petrarch. And it says Francesco. Francesco Petrarca was an Italian scholar, poet, and humanist whose 14th century writings arguably ushered in the Renaissance movement across Italy and eventually throughout Europe. Okay, so he was a poetic genius. So it says that I am related to Petrarch. Then, what really surprised me, it says that I am related to Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln from 1809 to 1865 is your political genius maternal match. So I am related to Abraham Lincoln. It says most historians consider Lincoln the greatest of all U.S. presidents. He was a gifted politician and astute at bringing people together in mutual understandings and consensus. This 16th American president kept the young country from splintering during some of the darkest days in American history, the U.S. Civil War. So yes, I am related to Abraham Lincoln through my mother's side. It says a maternal match. Maternal match, Abraham Lincoln. Queen Victoria is also my maternal match. So Queen Victoria, uh, royal genius from 1819 to 1901. So it says Victoria was the longest serving monarch of the British Empire and oversaw some of the greatest advances scientifically, industrially, and across various aspects of society during an age of great advancement and development, the Victorian era. So here we are with uh, Queen Victoria. Victoria. So she is my also my maternal match. Um, Zeppi, no. Okay. Now next one is Nicholas Copernicus, 1473 and 1543. So he is a mathematical genius. These are all my relatives, all my matches. Whoa, we have another one. Benjamin Franklin, my maternal match, and it says 1755 to 1783. I'm sorry, I was reading Marie Antoinette. Benjamin Franklin, 1706 and 1790, multi faced genius. Not only was Benjamin Franklin one of the founding fathers of the United States of America, but he was also a writer, a publisher, a physicist, naturalist, and economist. And his name is synonymous with wealth. A Benjamin is a $100 bill. Of course we all know that. 
Franklin is also credited with the idea of harnessing the power of it of electricity, a concept that completely altered the world as we know it. So here we are, Benjamin Franklin. My maternal match. And the next one, of course, is Marie Antoinette, the one that I had to start to read. And she is 1755 to 1783, historical genius. Marie Antoinette, and I'm also related to Napoleon. So Napoleon from 1769 to 1821. Here he is, Napoleon. And the next one is Marie Therese, or Marie, Maria Theresa from 1717 to 1780. And also Richard III. Okay, so this is Mar Maria Theresa, and then Richard III, and Zeppi, no. Zeppi, why do you want so much attention now? And Jesse James, the outlaw genius. Okay, Jesse James is also a match. So these are all my matches. So I have matches. So I have, as per National Geographic, okay, so as per National Geographic, National Geographic, I have, Petrarch, the poetic genius, Abraham Lincoln, Queen Victoria, Nicholas Copernicus, Benjamin Franklin, Marie Antoinette, Napoleon, Maria Theresa, Richard III, and Jesse James, the outlaw. So these are all my maternal matches. These are all my maternal matches, 10 matches as per the National Geographic's And let's see what else. Let me go to the dash. So this is the way it looks. This is National Geographics and um, dashboard. Okay, so your ancestral journey. I've already explored the results for the um, maternal matches, which is my mitochondrial DNA. And it says your regional ancestry, 45% Southern European. So I already know that. That's the um, Spain and Portugal, which of course there's um, Greek and Italian involved in that also. And then it says, your deep zeppi explore your results excuse me okay so Okay, so these are my results. So you see the map? Your regional ancestry from uh, National Geographic Geno 2.0, next generation. And it says 45% Southern European uh, I says Southern European Europe may have been the last refuge of the Neanderthals due to its re relatively sheltered position during the last glacial maximum. European hunter-gatherers also may have taken refuge there 20,000 years ago. 
Eventually, the first farmers arrived in the region from the eastern Mediterranean, and these are the ancestors of the modern-day inhabitants of the Iberian Peninsula and neighboring regions. Connections across the Mediterranean dating back to prehistoric and down to the medieval period connect Iberians with other coastal people, especially groups in northern Africa. Some southwestern Europeans also migrate across the Strait of Gibraltar, leading to a mutual genetic exchange. This cluster was also the pioneer explorer, the group that expanded over 500 years ago to the Americas as the Spanish and Portuguese established empires around the world. So I have, as per National Geographic Genome 2.0, I have 45% Southwestern European, which is Spain and Portugal, the Iberian Peninsula. And also, as per um, the Genome 2.0, uh, North America and Andes, 13%. Italy and Southern Europe, 11%. Eastern Africa, 3%. South America and Amazon, 3%. South China, 2%. Northwestern Europe, 2%. South China, that's like really, what? South China? But then again, when I first did my 23andMe, it gave me 2.3 Chinese, so it pretty much makes sense. And also Living DNA gave me, um, I believe, 1.3 percent um, East Asian so it I mean then again thinking about it it has to do with the um, Native American and also with the uh, the Native American with the China yeah with China Native America that's all across the um, the Siberian border so yeah and let's see as per As per Gino 2.0, let's see my my Neanderthal burns. Okay, so it says that my it says your deep ancestry, maternal, or well, as. For 23andMe, my maternal haplogroup is C1, but for Gino, is C1B2. And my Neanderthal in here. So this is their comparisons. Comparison. And I guess they have like other little videos and information. It says that I am one of 900, one out of 950,135 participants. I guess with the um, Helix um, Geno 2.0. So. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.